Marriage and Beauty Hall. I also wanted to share with you that I had the opportunity to work with Luxie on the first day of the event, which was yesterday. It was so much fun. I got to meet some amazing makeup artists. Luxie is such an amazing brand. I got a lot of great goodies and it was just really awesome. Today I was able to be a consumer. I was able to haul some more things and I'm sure that's why you guys are here. So I am gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna start by saying this Makeup Forever bag is everything. It's super awesome. Like. For my pro stuff, I have some of their gear, and their gear is like really sturdy and expensive. So I was super stoked about this bag. This bag made my freaking day. Like they hands down had like the best bag. So this right here is the bag that they gave you, Edge and Beauty, and it is full of stuff. Like if I went through this whole thing, honestly, like I would bore you guys. So what I did was I just went through and I just picked out like some of my favorites and I'm gonna share those with you. I think I made like a video clip where I poured the bag out. So I'm gonna include like a clip of like that and what it is so you guys can see it. But um, there's just a lot of great little goodies. But now to my favorites. So MAC did a um, collaboration with Pure. This was the only thing that I purchased. And this was the royalty collection. This right here is what it is. It's like five eye polishes and these are the shades here it's a metallic formula but it dries just like a regular shadow so i'm really excited to try those so shea moisture i this is first of all look at this bag isn't this cute i'm familiar with like their hair products and stuff like that body skin care but i'm not familiar with their makeup so i was able to get like um an eyeliner some mascara a lipstick i'm like i'm kind of stoked because i keep hearing good things about their makeup line and i had just yet to try it so Joy included this cute little bag here and it came with like eyeshadows and um, primers. So the primers are like mini primers, but there are like four little cute eyeshadows in here. Let me see one to show you guys what they look like. Uh, you know what, actually, I think that these stack. This is one of the shades, very beautiful colors, color walnut. I will definitely be getting use out of this. It also comes with a little mirror so that's cool so they do stack how freaking cute is this like boom but this is freaking cute it's like a little palette a DIY palette I'm super excited and I'm super stoked and then look the colors are like the neutral joint with the little smoky green at the back like all right joy come through like I underestimated you guys now I'm super excited about this first I wasn't so excited because there were like singles and I'm like more singles but now that I know that I do this, that like changed the whole tone of this. Good looking out your way. Benefit, they came right in time because um, first of all, I just ran out of both of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wigs last week. Like I was going back and forth. Then one ran out and I was like, it's cool because I got the other ones and then that one ran out. This came just in time. So it's the high brow. I was thinking it was a brow pencil. My only thing with this is, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, it's pink. And they only make it in one shade. And, like, baby, benefit, like, I love you guys, baby. But, like, we ain't all in one shade. Like, this pink is a lot. Like, I have a million of these. And I keep getting them. I thought it was a brow pencil. False alarm. But, yeah, like, they're awesome. But, but benefit, like, baby, like, for real, like, seriously. Like, I'm going to need you to make these in more colors to cater to everyone. I'm just saying. So if you were not aware, Lexi is one of my favorite brands. I told you I worked with them this week and I got this cute little Lexi hat. I am definitely going to get some use out of this hat, especially like when I got my hair on. And then for the brushes, like literally I have so many Lexi brushes <clears throat> between Lexi and Morphe. Like I pretty much, well actually Morphe has way too many. I don't have their whole collection, but for the most part for Lexi, I probably have at least like 60 of their brushes. It's pretty crazy. So I was excited to find some things that I didn't have. Um, this is basically like their face essential set and everything that I have is like kabuki or like kabuki size. Like this one right here is like the size of the kabukis because it's thick and full, but like really short. So everything I have is short or like for the eyes. So I was really, really excited for that. And then these two brushes right here, I didn't take them out the package because I already have them. So I'll probably end up giving those away. But super 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 amazing time great people I got some motor brushes right here this is actually like a Luxie I'm sorry this is actually a gin beauty exclusive these are by Royal and Langnickel and they are 100% vegan you know what when I saw Moda I didn't realize that they were Royal and Langnickel like I actually I like that brand 
I got some some cool masks too. Like this is the OMG mask, and it's a two-step mask. Like the first one is a detox like bubbling mask, and the second one is a microfiber mask. I got a yes to. I see this brand like all the time in like um, Ulsa and stuff, so I was excited. And this is a, a detoxifying charcoal paper mask. And right now my skin's been going a little crazy, so I'm excited to try that one. And I got another mask. This is Friedman. I always do their little their little mask or like I'll buy them and pour, but this is a Dead Sea anti-stress mask. I will definitely be getting this out of that. Like I'm trying to get more into being about my skin. So this is the Hourglass, the Mineral Veil Primer. Super, super, super excited about this because I've been really wanting it. But it was so expensive and I was too cheap to buy it. So Hourglass came through. Impressions Vanity make all those cute little vanities that are like dumb expensive and I can't afford them. But they did give me a little mirror that's pretty bomb and will be going in the purse because it's such a necessity. Milani. They have a new concealer. This is an eraser concealer. Like, I cannot wait to try this. I just got like some lip, liquid lippies from ColourPop, the balm, and Tarte. And honestly, the three of them always have great products. You can never go wrong. Nude sticks, I was really excited for this color because everything that I have from them is like nude. So, this is the color Vino, and this is also matte. And um, I tested it out earlier, it lasts all day. So Smashbox came all the way through. First of all, they hooked me up with the Photo Finish Primer, the OG. This thing will never go out of style. It always gets it done. It blurs and smooths. And then I was really excited about this palette here because, you know, do you see it? Cool, right? This is the CoverShop Metallic Eye Palette. And this right here, they partnered with Shea Mitchell. So it's like three colors. This was more of the neutral palette. And then these right here, you can use as brow bone highlighters or you can actually take them and just use them as highlighters. Um, they swatched them on me today. They didn't put makeup on me because I had on full makeup. But I also got to take headshots with um, the photographer. I forget his name. He's a celebrity photographer. They're courtesy of Smashbox. And he's always there and he always does them. And I swear, they always catch me when my hair is messed up. And I got my hair done on Friday for Gym Beauty. But this rain, like, murdered me. But if the photo looks nice, I will insert it. Makeup Forever, they came through with the Scentsy Eyes and some liquid lipsticks, which I don't know where liquid lipstick is. The Scentsy Eyes is bae. It is like the bomb. Like, I'm not going to open that one because I got my own right here. I keeps this joint on lock. Like, when I wear the Inglot 77 or if I wear, like, just things that are hard to come off, like, this takes any and everything off and it's really sensitive on your eyes. Like, this is, like, the best thing ever. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth the money. I will always buy it. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty. So NYX Cosmetics came through. I got this California palette, which I'm excited to try. And it is, it's about 10 colors. So these are the colors here. And then the Total Control Drop Foundation. I can't wait to try it because drop foundations are like in. And then I also have the cover FX one. So I'm wondering how, you know, what the differences are. And not only that, like to be completely honest, because of the weather change, like my skin, I have been changing colors and none of my foundations match and I always have to like make something happen. So it was really dope to like have a foundation in my shade right now. Actually, I'm going to start using this tomorrow because it's kind of a drag every day to have to like mix things to make them work. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So I'm excited that I don't have to do that anymore. Now I'm going to finish my finale on Jim Beauty with Ofra. Ofra is the real MVP. I'm going to tell you why at the end, but I'm just going to show you what I got. I got their Makeup Fixer Spray. I've really, really been wanting to try this. And um, thumbs up to Ofra for this being so big because makeup setting sprays, these joints don't be this big. So this is going to last me for a while. And I literally just ran out of my Urban Decay one and like my little elf one is low. So now I don't have to buy another one. Um, they gave me a whitening mask. I didn't even really know they had skincare like that. So that was something new that I learned. I got a foaming vitamin C cleanser. And I'm excited to try this. I like the little pump. Another one of my favorite little face washes to have a pump. It's the real MVP. So, and then I got a soft pearl peel. So I'm excited to try this as well. As far as skincare and then for makeup, they gave me... A waterproof eyebrow gel so I'm imagining this is something like dip brow and then I got a black eyeliner 
you can never have too many of those. So I got some highlighters. I got um, Rodeo Drive and I got Beverly Hills. And let's see, Rodeo Drive is more golden, but the whole reason that Ofra made my whole life, my Beverly Hills highlighter, this one right here, Bay is the one. I had it and I was so excited when I got it and then I broke it, look. When I was traveling, I broke it and I tried to smash it until so it looks a hot mess. So I've replaced it so they are the real MVP. It's little things like that that like make me happy and make my whole little life. Um, and like that was everything to me. Like I didn't even know I had it when I got home. I was like, whoa! Little things excite me. And then also in the liquid lipsticks, all of their liquid lipsticks are bomb. If you have not tried them, try them out. Um, a whole lot of like nudes, pinky nudes, pretty much just all over the wear. Pinky nude, nude, red, or vampy. So these are all perfect. I will be getting used to one of those. But this is everything that I got. Um, I really enjoyed myself this year. Um, I was really excited that I got to work with one of my favorite brands and just get to know more about them. Overall, I had a really, really good time. I got to network, meet some new people, some new faces, just learn about some new products. I have a crap ton of products to share with you guys and bring you guys content so if you are at gym beauty comment below let me know how it went for you um if you didn't go to gym beauty but you have questions go ahead and leave some questions for me i'll definitely answer them for you so until then you guys i will see you in my next video love you guys Mwah.